Hey, what's happening, everybody? Today, I'm finally checking out a highly requested EP you guys have been talking about. This has been really popular, like, all throughout the scene, I feel like. A lot of people in, like, the gent community, Thal, all that, have been talking about this EP. And um, it's called Mare by the band Mirar. I've never actually listened to this band before, but I know they're a French, like, Thal band. Um, or at least they have a lot of influences of Thal. Um, I'll definitely see once I listen to this what it sounds like. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, people have been really giving this high praise and I'm really curious to listen to it. So, yeah, without further ado, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. We're just going to check this shit out. So, yeah. I mean, the album art looks dope as fuck, to be honest. Old Renaissance painting. I like the piano intro. Very Thaw, okay. I love that the piano just keeps going. Change key, it sounds like. Maybe? This is just bizarre. Oh. That's cool. Okay. Fall in the club. Love when those drums just come out, dude. I wonder if I can turn this up anymore. Hmm. Might trap a little bit. That's good. I don't want to go too crazy. I want to burst my eardrums or something. Ooh. Is that vocals? No, maybe that's a synth or something. 
It's so weird. already see why people have been talking about the CP. Uh, some people claiming, uh, like Drew Fortune, I saw his little thumbnail for this, claiming it's the best law album since Masa Nunervatan from Vildyarta, or Vildyeta, however you pronounce it. Uh, I want to see if it lives up to that claim. Listen, Drew, you better be cooking. <laughs> I think he is. Oh. I just realized this is called Rose Bonbon. <laughs> what? Ooh. I'll say here. Sound engineering on this is insane. Wow, wow, wow. It's like pulsating. Heavy machinery. <laughs> Can't start the car. Mm. This was like Vildy leads. Where, where, where? Give me some leads, some acoustics. Yes. This feels humanity's last breath. Very. Despite the chaos, the layering is still really impressive. Ooh. It's getting a little like shoegazy now.
They did the thing. The on the level of dubstep now or like EDM that was fucking cool <laughs> holy shit I was not expecting that uh, this is my favorite track so far I'm not I'm not even gonna lie this is fucking awesome this whole EP so far actually That shit put me in a trance, dude. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's so fucking cool sounding. Medieval French stall. Et tu le bon. By the way, I have no idea what I just said in French. Don't remember what I said. Something about Earth, I think. Change. Fuck yeah.
Mosley. Gorgeous. Heavy as fuck. <laughs> Doesn't sound like it's That Thor was indubitably bussing respectfully. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking awesome. Sounds so weird. It's like they're squeezing a frog.
this ain't paying at, if this ain't playing at the club, I don't want it. These songs are connected. Fucking chef's kiss, dude. And that better play every time we go to Oslo, Norway. I swear to God. <laughs> Requirement. Cthulhu? You there, bro? Taking a drink of water. This is Elmer music right here. Got the Kaled anthem. that white noise though oh I'm not liking that at all yeah be careful headphone users piano's beautiful though Now it's good.
the sound engineering is phenomenal. Holy fuck. It's like I'm right there with the pianist. Ooh. A little bit of ASMR sounds. I think they're bringing it back. I think they're bringing it back. I can sense it. Maybe they're not bringing it back. This is beautiful, though. Resolves to that. That has to be... Oh. Are we good? Okay, I didn't want to interrupt it. Okay, I believe... Wow. That was the coolest and, like, most, like, classical music nerd thing. Like, just, like, that outro is so fucking cool. Uh, okay. I wasn't expecting that at all. That was super dope. Um, let's talk about this fucking EP for a second. Oh my god. Um, so I 150 million percent understand why people are talking about this EP now. I'm gonna be honest with you. I remember I'd heard like a tiny little snippet of this EP. And I was like, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm not gonna vibe with this. It felt like a little too like overly like produced and stuff. Um, but like listening through this entire EP start to finish and really just absorbing it and letting it take me over, like take over my mind and stuff. I understand now. Like this, it's it's all clicking. Um, it's kind of that uh, Vildieta, Vildiarta experience, you know, where um, like the more you listen to it and the longer, you know, the further you go through the album, it's just like, whoa, you're in like a completely different world. Uh, this transported me to like a completely different world. I feel like, especially at the end with that piano, 
Um, that is one of the most just gorgeous yet haunting piano parts I've heard from a song in a long time. Just like in general, uh, let alone in metal, like of all places. Uh, that was so fucking cool. Uh, there's so many interesting things going on in this EP, it's gonna be really hard for me to actually be concise and talk about it in a specific amount of time. Um, but I mean, first of all, the amount of influences, like, it, it, it's disingenuous to call this a Vildiarta ripoff, I feel like. Uh, in some ways. I, I do feel like there are some songs that have very, very obviously lend from that Vildiarta sound. Um, but you're also getting influences from, like, Humanity's Last Breath. You're getting all these, like, classical music influences that aren't as present in those bands, though. And I feel like that's what's really separating them for me is, um that introduction of like the older uh instruments and stuff you're well i mean you're getting piano but you're also getting like uh, i don't know if you'd say like a lute at some at some points and stuff like you're getting older like string instruments very medieval sounding and i really fuck with it it really fits the vibe of this ep and uh but, but at the same time they have a lot of the weird like just abnormal noises that they make and thaw with like the pitch shifting and everything the really wild guitars um, that's where it kind of falls more into that humanity's last breath with their latest album, Ashen, where it's like the which is just like really unsettling noises. Um, I definitely feel like they pulled out those unsettling noises, but they uh, split it up within the EP to the point where it didn't feel like it was overbearing or over like too overused. Um, so I feel like it actually held its ground and didn't go too far out of that realm. I will say. There were parts in this EP, specific, specifically the beginning half, that I feel like were almost a little too, um, like, compressed, almost. Like, like it, it, maybe it was just my computer, like, my volume settings and stuff, but it felt, like, quiet but chaotic and just, just, like, really intense, like, bass noises, and it just felt almost too chaotic and, like, wall of sound-like, uh, for my taste, at least. But I think the more I listen to it, the more I'll just come to accept that, especially, um, like now that I understand the EP and where it goes, I feel like it's gonna make more sense in the whole, like grand scheme of things. You know what I mean? Um, that, that's just one thing that I noticed was that it felt almost a little overproduced, um, over oversaturated and stuff, which uh, you know definitely is not the worst problem to have. I would rather it be overproduced and oversaturated than be underproduced and be just like kind of bland. And this is the furthest thing from bland that I have heard in a very long time. Uh, this was super, super cool, and I understand why Drew was mentioning how this is, uh, you know, probably like one of the coolest Thal releases since uh, Masa de Nunervatan. I can totally see it. I, I understand completely. Um, honestly, I think I might have to agree with them. Like, I'll have to give this more listens to really let it kind of sink in and stuff, but I can see it. I, I can really see this climbing up my list of uh, top EPs for sure, uh, and this... I mean, as far as EPs go this year, I'm sure this is going to be top five. I don't even think there's a question with that. Um, it's just going to be a matter of, uh, I don't know, you know, how I'm feeling music-wise. I mean, you know, like, my favorite genre changes all the time, or favorite subgenre at least. So, who knows? But anyway, back to the topic at hand. Uh, drums were fucking fantastic. There's so many cool fucking switcheroos the time signatures. It was insane. And a lot of that has to be lent to the drums, because the drums were just, like, carrying the shit even if that wasn't the main focus for all of it definitely uh definitely had that backbone going <laughs> holy fuck uh guitars i think were probably you know the main part of the show that a lot of people are listening to and a lot of people are really raving about is the guitar side and that's honestly where a lot of fall came from was the weird guitar effects and just the switching like the uh what do you want to call it the whammy effects the whammy pedal where you switch to like negative seven semitones just just like go up and down and up and down um very fluid very fluid songwriting and that's something i definitely notice here is they have that fluid songwriting but they do inject um structure in there with the drums and stuff so it's it's definitely like um semi-controlled chaos i guess uh but sometimes they just kind of let it loose and i think that really lends to uh the like creepiness and uncertainty of this ep and like the album art and stuff um so fucking cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, this this entire EP was really fantastic to listen to. Uh, I think Hestahov, or I think that's how it's pronounced, the third track, might might be my favorite overall, just because, like, I really was lost in that song. Um, I just remember that being a really big standout, but the more I listen to this, there's gonna be things I'm gonna, like, miss on this first listen. I'm gonna go back, listen to it, be like, holy shit, that was so cool. 
because you know every time i go back and listen to an ep or album especially like this when it's really chaotic there's a lot going on very progressive i like to go back and kind of listen to a new uh instrument each time uh this time i was trying to really catch more of like what was going in the background with like like the piano or like there's maybe like a lute there's like acoustic guitars things like that um super super cool uh i can't say enough good things about this ep to be honest with you i am really surprised right now um i was honestly like i said i had heard a tiny little snippet i was a little worried that i was going to be underwhelmed and boy was i fucking wrong i uh yeah wow Th this is fantastic i mean as of right now this is going to be like a 9 9.5 probably like a 9.5 for me I don't even know what else to say right now. I think my brain is actually melting a little bit from listening to this, which means I'm going to listen to it a few more times, and I'm just going to let it take me over because that was really cool. That was an experience. Thank you for the people that mentioned this EP to me because I'll be honest with you, I've been slacking on making videos lately, and I mean, I've just had a lot going on in my life, and I... I kind of put this to the point where I'm in hobby mode, you know what I mean? I'll still make videos for you guys. I love talking to you guys and making these videos, obviously. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, anyway, that's enough of my spiel. What did you guys think about this EP? Did you guys like it? Did you not like it? Leave a comment down below. And if you guys have any recommendations, leave that down below as well. Especially if you're going to recommend something like this. Holy fucking shit. Please give me a shout out. I don't know if I'll be able to check it out. But if I do, I'm going to be thanking you like crazy that I did and that you mentioned to me. But anyways... I'm really glad you guys showed this to me. I hope you guys take it easy. Have a great day. Do whatever you're doing. And uh, yeah, see you later.